It's been a while since you've had oatmeal, eh? Now you have oatmeal everywhere. You have an oatmeal facial. Good for your skin. You have to wait a minute because your camera's full. You're kidding me. Oh no, you're going to be another 30 seconds late. Are you guys just lying on each other? I'll tell you all about that when you guys hate each other. Because you're going to hate each other. The next time you yell at each other, I'll tell you. Remember this morning when you were lying together? Yeah. Good gal and Miss Molly. Something should seriously be done with this mess. Don't look at my coat. When I walk, I often vlog here, which is funny, because I think it's like picking your nose in your car. You think you're alone because you're in your car, but the reality is, as you look over there, I don't know how many students are in those school rooms. School rooms. You know, the other word for classroom. What are you looking at? You wanna go down? You know, I've made that joke before and I've never been actually looking at anybody. This time I was actually looking at somebody. As you can no doubt tell by shaky cam, I'm out and about walking. Why? Because I've let myself go again, people. Time to get out, time to move. Brett the intern started a new project of his own for weight loss. He struggled. I don't know if he struggled or he's tried to lose weight many a time. He started project one third. He's gonna lose a third of himself. You know, I think, uh, hey look, it's SUV boy. I still think I like Project Olsen Twin best. Project to lose an Olsen Twin. Then again, they weigh like 60 pounds, so I could probably stand to lose two of them. Am I angelic? Or just jerky? Hey! More hay! It's really windy. I don't know if you can hear anything. Spring is in the air, motivation is my step. It's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Now we just have to set some goals. Because it's all about goals now, people. So excited to go see the little girls. My mom picked them up and it's a beautiful day, so I think she's going to walk with them, which is good exercise for her. Last week she actually lost three pounds on Weight Watchers. So she's doing really well. 2.9, actually. Anyways, so she's doing the walking thing with them. I am joining them. I have not vlogged all day, so. We had a gorgeous ceremony today for Yom HaZikaron in memory of the soldiers who, uh, soldiers and terrorist victims who died protecting Israel. Hi! No, we have to go back. We're going to eat supper. Somehow. There's more toys and another doll, but it's not coming in the house. I need to come back. Why do I need to come back? Because um, I'm not. Um, I'm standing next to that. She wants me back. Tell her to call me on my cell. Did you take the bus with Zafda? What does the bus? What did the bus do? Nice snot bubble. More? Do you want some more? Something's in there. Do you want some apple juice? You want some of this one? This one. Okay. And Rebecca? She doesn't want. And you know what they do at twelve? What? They put in the on the over the laces. More water? Come here, Abby. Who said that? Who said that? <gasps> you don't say stupid. I love you. Dirty? What's with the runny nose? Yuck! Runny nose! When did that happen? Did you have fun with the girls? I know. Were they good to you? Yes, of course. Always? Always. They didn't give you a hard time? Not at all. And Rebecca sat in the front seat? Uh, no, in the back. And, uh, yeah, the front. Oh, the front and, and Abby sta stayed on the back? Yeah. And when I got on the... Uh, My mom loves her stroller. And, and, and when uh, I got in the bus, I asked her to take off because she's so heavy. And she got off? Yeah, yeah. Can you jump for joy again? <laughs> Who understands very well? Why did Safta do blue toes, Abby? Blue and white day. For blue and white day. <laughs>
Way to go getting in the spirit, Mami Lynn. Rebecca is tired. Look, I have a bus with me. It's like a bus. <laughs> yeah. This is a bus. I find myself reluctant to turn the camera on when bad things happen in the world. Don't know why. Probably because I just don't feel like talking. So... This isn't relevant anymore, but at least three people lost their lives, 141 injured in Boston. 17 of the injuries are critical. Doctors said that they were pulling BBs out. There was a runner running by, an older gentleman. Went down right away. Just the way he went down, I was like, oh, cool. There was totally shrapnel in that. Totally shrapnel. Either that or like the fence or something blew apart, but yeah. My dad ran in Boston a bunch of times. I've been trying to figure out roughly what time the runners were coming through. But I'm guessing it was roughly the four hour mark. Very sad. Today just wasn't a good day. But it was a great day. Right, because we seized the opportunity to make it good. I don't know what that means. As Mr. DeFranco says here, that the uh, what gives me hope in the world was after the bomb went off, the Boston Marathon volunteers, and I saw volunteers, police, aid to the rush to the aid of the victims, and what was really cool was there was like an am amateur photog documenting it. And rushing in front of him was a guy with ten cameras on him. So here you've got a guy who's probably employed by the marathon or something like that. He's not like a hardened journalist who's been to Guam and like, you know, Iraq and all that. He's just a dude. He's got, what, $50,000 hanging around his neck? And he's pulling a metal fence. Good night. Go hug your families, go squeeze your kids, call your mom, call your dad, do something. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I want to do it again and again.